valuable pumpkins. Get it? Value is how light or dark a color is. Ha ha ha. For this project, I used a square piece of paper. You don't have to, but if you'd like to, you can take a regular piece and fold it so the bottom corner meets the top edge and leaves you with a perfect triangle. See how that top left part is nice and pointy? You will have a half triangle or perfect square when you open it up. Cut off that extra edge. You may have done this if you've done origami before and you usually need a perfect square for origami. Open it up. Only downside is you have a crease and just take your finger and get that out the best that you can. Grab a pencil and let's get started. We'll start with the stem. It's a curved line with an oval on the end with another curved line below. The part that attaches to the pumpkin is a scalloped line, kind of a curvy one. Then we'll use our pencil to lightly sketch in some more curved lines leading towards the oval at the end. This will give that great texture that you see on a stem. Feel free to play around, add some lighter and darker lines in there. You can even kind of shade in the end. Then to start our pumpkin, begin with a light curved line. Don't push too hard because you might need to change it followed by another curved line curving in the same direction. This curve is opposite. This is one of the lobes of the pumpkin closest to us. So pay attention to which way the pumpkin is curving. Remember, you can always stop this video. Now, for our next part, we will start to see the edge of the pumpkin. The bottom left corner, we're not seeing the edge. The pumpkin is cropped, where we only see part of it. So this side of the pumpkin will end up seeing the edge. Kind of looks like little uh, ice cream scoops, doesn't it? <laughs> or little pieces of pie. Round it out. And it's okay to change things. When I was looking at this, I noticed it needed another section. Drawing lightly will help you erase better in this case. Crayons, colored pencils, or twistables will work best for this project. Looking at our color wheel, we will be using the analogous colors, which are three or more colors touching on the color wheel, going from red all the way to yellow. That includes the red, red-orange, orange, yellow-orange, yellow and yellow. Starting with the red crayon, which happens to be our darkest value. Value is how light or dark a color is. So since we're doing an orange pumpkin, we'll start with red, which would be a darker value than the orange. First, trace all the rounded curves. And then right next to the stem, we'll do some little squiggly lines. You can push hard in the creases but use a little less pressure when you're doing the long strokes coming from the stem. Switching to our red-orange, it's a little lighter than red, more orangey, it's a reddish-orange. Color over those same lines. We're trying to get our darkest parts in first. Notice that my lines are becoming very long. They're still curved and they're still pointing in the same direction, going down, out, away from the pumpkin stem, kind of radiating like a firework would, starting in the center and moving down. Darken those creases. It's a little bit of a shadow there. And just keep adding that red-orange. Feel free to pause the video whenever you need to, because this is way sped up. Next, we'll use the regular orange crayon. Since pumpkins are generally orange, this is going to take up most of our drawing. You may need to stretch your hand out a little after this one. This is the color that takes the longest. Again, 
just like we did before, start coloring over your creases, those curved pencil lines that we had done in the very beginning. Then, just like a firework, start at the stem and have your lines radiate out from the center, all going in the same direction. If you get close to the edge of your pumpkin, it's okay to switch to curved lines since that is a curved line over there. Keep on coloring. You might be thinking, Mrs. Walsh, that's not very juicy coloring. You're right, not yet. Our goal is to layer these colors on top of each other to create a more realistic looking pumpkin drawing. Continuing with the yellow orange, pull out the yellow orange one, which is a little lighter than your orange, and begin filling in your white spots. It's okay to still have some white spots at this point, as we will top it all off with the yellow crayon. Whew, are you still with me? Is your hand completely tired? If it's not, grab the yellow. Fill in all your white spots on your pumpkin, except for the stem. And as you're working, you'll notice that the pumpkin has a glow to it. It's looking very realistic. And where the yellow's filled in, that's where the sunlight is hitting it, illuminating your pumpkin. Hey, we made it! I'm noticing that I have a lot of light values, but not a whole lot of dark values. So I grabbed my red-orange crayon again, and I went over the creases and just darkened up some of those original spots that we did. Let's finish this up by coloring the stem. Stems on pumpkins are usually not alive anymore once you cut it away from the plant so we'll be using brown start by outlining all those pencil lines with your brown and lightly shading from the base to the tip of the stem with some brown you can push hard in spots then we'll use a green and do the same thing lightly color we're adding and building up layers of color then yellow green and then if you want some blue green and i noticed it was way too bright for my liking so i toned it down a little bit with some brown layering these colors will make your pumpkin look so realistic if you really need to darken it more bust out that black black will darken any color 